And as you can see, I'm out with the Equinox 600. I've bought myself a pair of Mine Lab gloves, which are absolutely amazing. Actually, I'd recommend them. Not that I'm a big fan of gloves. And uh, I've got the uh, Equinox set on field two there. There is a settings video uh, below. I could link it below actually in the description, but let's crack on and see what we find. A modern five pence. So first find was a ring pull. So I don't think that was worth videoing, but uh, there we go. Let's hope we keep finding a few coins and bits and pieces today. And this is the first one of the day that I found. I know exactly what it is. Um, it's the base of a Mills bomb or hand grenade as everyone knows them as. And this was a World War II firing range. So there's plenty of finds like this here. And uh, if you clean all that off, you'll probably have the numbers, the dates. I think they've mostly seem to be 1943 when I've cleaned them in the past. Coming up at 20 on the Equinox, and I have cleaned her up a little bit to try and get a date off her. It's 1874, Queen Victoria. And I'll just try and catch it in the light there. Because it was showing in the sun quite nicely earlier. Just there, look. It's a Queen Victoria penny. So again, that's actually uh, dates the site as well because the earliest I've found is about 1850 on here from the button from the Lincolnshire Voluntary Rifles. So good, that's pretty contemporary to the site as well, probably. So we're coming up at number 14 on the Equinox on the visual display. And it's the first one of these I've had today. Sort of like expecting to find a few more, really. If we can get it out. And this is why I don't really like gloves, to be honest. But uh, there you go. It's a nice bullet. And like I say, this was a firing range area. So you do find a lot of World War II things here. So it looks like somebody's been up here partying. And I don't blame them because it's uh, that's a quite a lovely view. Right, so this is uh, jumping quite high on the Equinox. There's a signal. I don't know if you can see it just down that hole there. It's quite deep. It's going to take some digging. So I'll get back to you and let you know what it is. But uh, I'm going to guess it's a mortar fin. But we'll find out in a few minutes. Uh, what did I tell you? And that's a two inch mortar fin. And that is the best one I've found so far. Apart from some fall has damaged it with the spade. Oh yeah, that'd be me. But other than that, it's the best condition one I've had and quite deep as well. Uh, that's obviously where it was attached before, but great. Yep, that'll go on the shelf as a nice display and worth digging out that hole there. So coming up as a, a number 12, and I think this is the side screw um, off a Mills bomb. And uh, if you just see the screw thread there on the side, I will clean it up and put a better picture, but I think that's what that is. It's off the side of a Mills bomb. This is the first one I found today, but I'm over the moon. I do love finding these mini balls. I must do a full video on all the ones I've found, but uh, lovely. Always come up about a 16, 17, obviously it's lead, but uh, brilliant little find. I'm well chuffed with that. And only the second one of the day. So a bit of a poor uh, run for me on these, but uh, come up about a 16 on the Equinox and the bullet casing. So into the box that goes. And unfortunately, we get these all the time and they do give a good signal. So you end up digging them, whether it's a shotty shell. Now, for some reason, this was coming up a 31 on the Equinox. And uh, I thought I was well worth digging. I wasn't expecting it to be a coin, but it's so toasted. I cannot find out what it is. I'm not 100% it's a coin. It may even be a token. But uh, anyway, I'll try and clean it up a bit and get a bit of a better picture and hopefully we'll be able to see what it is. And coming up a nice 12 on the Equinox in the hole and I can see oh, a little bit of gold, but I don't think it's a gold coin. I think, yeah, it's a button, but still a nice little button there. There's some markings around the side, so we can probably get a name off that as well. So just a bit of a, a gold wash button. Well, there we have my first ring thing of the day. I'm not sure exactly on it because it's got a flat little piece there that you can just see. Uh, but I'm just going to class it as a ring thing and have a good look. But possibly, I don't know, maybe part of a buckle, do you think? That being flat there? I don't know. Let's just put it as a ring thing. Oh, now you can just see it. Now they come up, up to a 30 on the Equinox. So it's a spanking signal. And there you go. That's another Mills. That's actually a better one to get the numbers off. So I'll probably do a picture of this one. So can you just see all those numbers? Anyway, nice World War II find. 
So I've just ventured into field number three purely because it's nearby. And this first find, it's a nice little button. Bit of detail on it. I don't think it's a military button, um, but it's just got that nice little uh, round old detail there. Well, this is a nice surprise. I thought it was going to be another Mills bomb, but it's a coin. Which is a little bit toasted. Yeah, do you reckon? I think it is George and Mark, yeah. I've got Mark with me here from Metal Detect in Lincolnshire. Yeah, we can just see the head there. So coming up at number 12 on the Equinox, and uh, when I've cleaned it out, what a beautiful little button. Looks like a flower daisy type thing. I'm sure it's a button, like at the back there. But what an amazing little find. That's a different field, and I'm suspecting the same sort of finds though. I say it's just close by, but that looks like, yep, that's another piece of Mills bomb. A nice little find just on the surface there. Just move the soil a bit with my foot. And I think it's a coin. Yeah, that's gonna have to take a bit of cleaning up, but uh, yeah, I'm sure that's a coin anyway. So there we are, another coin. Now, how's that for something a bit unusual and a bit different? It's uh, giving me a nice high signal. I thought it was uh, a coin, to be honest, but uh, I don't know. And we are in a Roman field, so whether it's something Roman, horse tack related, I've no idea. I'll put a better picture up anyway, and if you've got any idea, please leave a note in the comments. I'll really appreciate it. So second one of the day and in fantastic condition as well, another little mortar fin. So that's another two inch mortar fin to go with the other one. Brilliant. And again, I've caught it with a spade, but there you go. There you go, first of the day. Normally find loads of these, but uh, not so many today, but a bullet casing. But I am sort of trekking into an area of the field I don't normally go to. Thought I'd give that a try, see what pops up. And coming up a 21 on the VDU on the Equinox, a 1919 half penny, which is contemporary for the site because the firing range was in use from 1850 to the end of the Second World War. So at some point, somebody has dropped this on here. Bit bent, but still a half penny, nice little coin. And coming up a 23 on the Equinox, flipped the uh, thing straight out and it's straight on the top there. And I think it's a modern day penny but it'll be one of the uh, copper ones. So it's got the portcullis on there, the Queen Elizabeth second on that side. So great, lovely, another penny for the pot. And again, that's the second one of the day, just slightly bent, so it's probably hit a target to guess or something's hit it, but uh, yeah, another bullet. And coming up as 29 on the Equinox, yet another hand grenade base. I think I'll do a little picture or video of how many of these I've got, actually. I've got that many. You won't believe it. But, uh, you know, you can get the date off them. Again, base off a hand grenade or a Mills bomb. Nothing too exciting, just a little 2-2 uh, cartridge. So somebody's been out here shooting rabbits or something like that. So we've got a nice solid 23 signal. And uh, it's out the hole. It's in that clump there somewhere. I think that's just a bit of root. Yep. So... Uh, Let's get the pinpointer on it and uh, see what we can find. Well, it's definitely over that side somewhere, so. Ooh. Look at that, it's a mortar fin. It's flicked out there, there's a mortar fin, great one. Another mortar fin, that's three today. This one, not such uh, a good condition. And to be honest, I'm glad I've got my gloves on because they get really sharp just there. So, good one. Now I've decided to do this side of the firing range today because, uh, well, the grass was cut and I've never really come down this side really. And uh, it seems to have paid off because there's another coin. I'm guessing, oh, it's a 10p. I thought it was an old 5p, but no, that's a modern 10p. But uh, hey, it's a coin and in the pot it goes. Now this came up as a number 10 on the Equinox and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's just in the hole just here. If I can flip it out. And it is, it's a button. So that's only the second button of the day. I don't think it's of anything of really any age. I don't even think it's military to be fair, but it's still a nice little find. 
It's probably the thing detectors find the most as well, buttons. So there we go, one for the pot. So as usual, I'm detecting with Mark from Metal Detecting Lincolnshire and there he is with a find. I'll have a word with him later, see what he's found today. I think he's found a couple of mortar fins he was telling me. And this area here, and that field up there, just there, this is all the firing range area. So this is where everything used to land. So uh, that's the side, which I found a few bits and pieces on earlier. So there you go, plenty to go at while well, the grass is short. Well, that's number four today on the two inch mortar fins. And I think the further down the hill I get, the worse condition they get in. But uh, still, I'll put them all in the box. I always take them out of the field anyway, take any scrap or anything out of the field I do. But uh, there you go, another one for the collection. Right, so I hazarded a guess that this is a mortar fin. Oh, is it though? No, it's actually, there we go, that's the base of a hand grenade. And coming up 25 on the Equinox, a nice 1936 penny, which would make sense completely because this was a firing range during the war, so probably dropped about that time. So, great one. Nice, great big green penny. Lovely. From that hole there, go number 11 on the Equinox, and I think it's a modern 5P. Yes, it is. That's a modern 5P there, so a little baby one. And coming up a 17 on the Equinox, and probably a find you're more likely to get on a military site, uh, being as it's a firing range, and that looks like part of a, an exploded bomb or something or other like that. Not quite sure, but uh, anyway, a nice little find. 